Hey, if you've ever wanted to live a more socially conscious lifestyle, of course you've heard that you need to be vegan or at the very minimal vegetarian. Well, I want us to talk about this topic today because yes, we definitely all have to move towards veganism or at least vegetarianism if we want to leave a planet for future generations to live in, of course, but the real answer is that most of us are just not going to be vegan or vegetarian at least not right the second. Very few people are really gonna have that kind of commitment and interest in their nutrition, their cooking, and just that much commitment to being an environmentalist, for example, that they're just gonna be able to convert to a vegan diet right away. And that includes me. I try to be vegan and I failed by the first trip I made it to the supermarket that week or whenever it was that I did it. And then I try to be a vegetarian and I feel like I also failed that. So in this video, what I'd rather we talk about is lowering our protein intake and a little bit of my experience in trying to be a vegetarian and eventually coming to my conclusion. And I actually lasted about eight to nine months being a vegetarian about three years ago. But eventually, I came to the conclusion that it's not right for me. Especially because you guys know I practice martial arts. I actually, even though I felt great on one level as a human being and like physically I felt great not eating animal products, as an athlete, I felt very weak during my workouts. And that's why eventually I made the decision to go back to incorporating animal protein in my diet. And on one level, I just feel like that's just such an easy way out, that it's so difficult to be a vegetarian or vegan that most of us are just not even going to bother about it, that I think a more rational approach is just to work on lowering our protein intake. And that's really what I want to talk to you about today. If you, like me, are at the beginning of your socially conscious lifestyle journey, yes, on the one level, it's the big corporations that are fucking up the world the most, and me recycling at home, and me like trying to be a vegan is not going to change the world however yes we must hold corporations accountable for all the fucked up bullshit they've done to the planet earth but at the same time with all the climate change and like half the world is on fire the other half of the world is at war i really honestly feel like it's irrational to think that even if we do punish all the corporations and all the governments that have fucked up the world it's irrational to think that we're just gonna continue living how we have been and i really feel about that in all areas of life i think eventually we will all have to live extremely sustainable lives and we really just have to get there one step at a time even though i did eventually like fail at my experiment of being a, ve a vegetarian i do like that it introduced me to a lot of products and a lot of different foods that i wasn't eating before and that i've actually like continued to eat and it's helped lower my protein intake for example the biggest thing for me was finding a milk alternative i don't know about you guys but when i was little like i used to get so many stomach aches when i drank milk and i actually never liked milk i have never drank a glass of milk unless it was like chocolate milk <laughs> but it turns out there are so many kids around the world that have a bad like reaction to dairy at first i used to drink almond milk until i actually found out that it's very damaging to the environment to be cultivating almonds which is like the other fucking problem when you start trying to be like more socially conscious you have to like Pretty much the whole life on earth is not socially conscious up to this point <laughs> so there's like something wrong with everything and that's a big like for me another big obstacle to this whole socially conscious lifestyle journey because it's like nobody wants to be a hypocrite everybody thinks like you're going to be held to this uh standard to be perfect and there is no perfect they're just really like being a little bit better and taking one step at a time and that's why it actually took me so long to make this video even though i tried to be a vegetarian like three years ago because i don't want to be told like i'm a hypocrite and i oh i have all these socially conscious things that i talk about but yet i'm not perfect i'm not a vegan i'm not a vegetarian so the other big and kind of odd finding for me during that ex whole experiment of being a vegetarian was that I actually stopped eating burgers. And let me clarify because I fucking love 
burgers, okay? But first of all, in 2019, the like vegetarian slash vegan options of like veggie patties are so amazing. There are like patties that have like 17 grams of protein in one serving and they're supposed to be like whole foods. Like forget about Morning Star. Like my favorite like burger patty is like done by Field Roast and I think they have like some 20 grams of protein. But look what I was getting to was that in finding in trying to in trying out all these like veggie patties what i realized was that it was never about the taste of the meat it's always been about the spices like if you can have bad burgers that are made from animal protein and you can have amazing burgers that have zero meat so since those three years ago i really anytime i go to most restaurants i will order the veggie patty especially if it's a quinoa burger that's like my favorite thing all except for in and out <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I love in and out Unfortunately, if you ever travel to Los Angeles, please have in and out It's like, even though they fucking support Donald Trump and I'm about to boycott their ass That is the only meat patty that I eat Anywhere else, I actually feel safer getting a veggie patty as well Because if they fuck up the cooking it's a veggie patty, like you're not gonna die from eating raw meat or something. Anyways, but that was to me a big, like a big eye-opening understanding of animal protein. It's not necessarily that we like the taste of meat, it's that it's the meat plus the spices. And you can make veggies, you can make vegetables taste really delicious if you use like different kinds of spices. And I actually learned a lot through that experience because I went out but it's like different spices now i can put like more spices on my veggies which i wasn't doing before at all and that might be like a little thing but for me it was like more, a really eye-opening thing like it's not about the taste of the meat it's about the spices and having said that of course with the same mentality i went down the path of like sausages <laughs> first of all let me say let me like confess that i'm i love hot dogs like I was always the kid that if we went on a field trip or we're having like a class party and then the food was burgers, like I had to have a hot dog. Like I remember this one other girl, Annette, and me, we always had to have the, the hot dogs. And I remember feeling like, thank God there's another person like me because I always like, I never wanted to single myself out. I was like on one level being very shy and I never wanted to be like, like the only one kid that required like different treatment. But the fact is, is that I did. <laughs> I did not want any burgers and to this day I fucking love hot dogs. But they're so bad for you and of course we've all seen the, all the videos in which like all the factories harm the animals and how and what parts of the animals are in hot dogs. I don't know about you but I read Fast Food Nation back in high school and it's disgusting. So once I found out that like veggie burgers were okay. I tried um, veggie sausages or vegetarian sausages and they're amazing. Not all, but definitely my favorite brand. And this is not like a full endorsement. I haven't like investigated their facilities. I hope that they're not committing animal cruelty until like somebody takes up that role that they want to investigate every vendor out there. Don't, don't come for me, okay? But my favorite vegetarian sausage and that I recommend that you taste it's called field roast and i really like their apple sage um apple sage flavor it's like it's so good and it's supposed to be made of potatoes barley apples sage but yeah so once i found out that like some vegetarian substitutes for meat were actually delicious that's when it was really easy for me to lower my um my protein intake because i also started like Kind of visualizing every goddamn bird like i used to like go to the supermarket and get like those you know that roasted whole chicken well most of the time i'm not eating that whole fucking chicken like i live by myself i'm not gonna eat that whole chicken in a week so most of the time i was try uh, like i was throwing it away i started of course feeling really bad about the goddamn chickens and i would do like buy little pieces like let you know buy like eight drumsticks and then i started thinking like God damn! like four birds had to die for this for this goddamn meals and um 
and like you can see where I'm going I get a lot of anxiety and like start thinking way too much about everything and this is why I've I tried in the first place to commit to being a vegetarian and I couldn't but I feel like I can only start somewhere in the middle and um, through my experiment of being trying to be a vegetarian I did actually find out that you really only need to be eating like protein once or twice a week so I really went back to eating protein once or twice a week or at the very minim minimum buying a lot less so like right now in my fridge I have a little bit of chicken and then I have the sausage the sage apple sage sausages um, and yeah even though I'm not Mother Teresa of vegetarianism I feel like my contribution to those industries of animal farming, dairy, all of that has lowered so much just by changing what I eat a little bit and that just makes me feel just like a little bit better and it makes me feel it makes me feel better than if I was doing nothing at all which is what I was doing before anyway that's really all I want to talk to you about today because all that we can do is just what we can do in the moment and We've already talked about how when you start achieving smaller goals, those goals take you to bigger goals, you take steps towards further goals. So if you're thinking about how to be a vegetarian or vegan and are very, if you feel very overwhelmed by the commitment and the struggle, just start maybe lowering your protein intake, start trying out different products that don't have animal protein. Thank you for watching if you still are. Remember to subscribe if you'd like to continue talking about world domination and let me know in the comments how is your journey with lowering your intake going or being a vegetarian or vegan i honestly had a really hard time <laughs> being vegan and i literally lasted like one or two days so let me know in the comments and i'll see you in the next time